am a fighter and not a quitter. I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Liz Truss was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from the 6th of September 2022 to the 25th of October 2022, a crucial time in office that changed the footing and strength of the United Kingdom in the modern economic and political climate. I had the opportunity to not only witness but experience the effects of the tenure of Liz Truss and see its implications on me personally and the UK as a whole. During my second week of the first semester, Prime Minister Liz Truss resigned after serving in 10 Downing Street for a mere 44 days. This was due to the economy being in a free fall over her policy on low taxes. By lowering taxes for the rich, she hoped to enact a form of neoliberalism in her policies through trickle-down economics. I was witnessing history, jokes and discourse over Truss's tumultuous time leading the UK spread like wildfire. There was even a contest between the head of lettuce and Truss on local news to see which would last longer. Suffice it to say, the head of lettuce won. With the new and seemingly more collected government head in Rishi Sunak, I saw that my British peers felt more calm with the new economic policies initiated, and there was a resumption of normal financial and political services that were in disarray during Truss's time. My flatmates even got their student financing sorted, and while cost of living was still on the rise, the inflation rate stabilized, and we were all able to experience balanced prices at the stores. When analyzing the situation, I want to take a look at the global and local context of this incident the effects of Truss's policies, her resignation, and her replacement's way of combating the looming economic crisis. British pound sterling was on the rise. Compared to the US dollar, it went from nearly the same value where one US dollar equaled 1.03 great British pounds to a staggering 25% increase. In this tumultuous time of politics, I was able to see the inner workings of the British government. A factor I had noticed was a level of transparency. The House of Commons meeting in Parliament were widely televised and it had an ease of access on social media. According to Baron Tate on Rishi Sunak's recovery of the British pound, the weakening of the US dollar and its competitor to Chinese yuan the week of October 26, 2022, helped the Bank of England stabilize its value of pound sterling from entering the free fall we had seen in the last month. The UK, in a global perspective, remained stagnant. The Guardian reported in February 2023 that the International Monetary Fund underlined that the UK, out of all countries in the developed world, had the lowest economic growth. Kettle continues to outline the addition of Truss's policies and Brexit's effect. hindrance of the UK's access to and from European markets contribute to the lack of economic activity and the prolonged exposure to inflation and the economic recession. Richard Parrington from The Guardian analyzes Truss's fiscal policies after a year, where he said, and I quote, this week marks the anniversary of her catastrophically failed attempt to change course in a mini budget that crashed the pound, punished mortgage holders, and destroyed her party's reputation for economic competence in one fell swoop. He goes on to explain that Britain is still teetering on the brink of recession, and that the Conservative Party is aiming to regain the trust of the public in their approach to this crisis. This was a highly critical incident in my time abroad. Not only was I able to experience and put my political studies to use, I was exposed to the works of a parliamentary system where the head of government being ousted and replaced does not ignite a constitutional crisis, as it would be in the United States. I learned how the go British government works and the issues between their political parties. The parliamentary system is an interesting study. Its design allows for the powers of elected officials to be constantly checked, and through the broadcasting of their lively debates in the chambers, there is a feeling of transparency given to the public. The Conservative Party turned to cleaning up legislation that has left the public unhappy, as well as deal with the overhanging economic decline. Today, while the United Kingdom retains its high level of human development, it faces many challenges in its economy from recovery over foreign political decisions and poorly planned fiscal budgets. Rishi Sunak and the Conservative Party are working to help the United Kingdom adjust in this new post-pandemic world, where their decisions to split from the European market and oust their leaders twice in a year has resulted in destabilization, destabilizations to the country's place on, on the global economic and political power scale.